On July 21, 1999, First District Governor Rory Samora appoints P.P. Rolly Gahete as the District Governor's Special Representative to organize a Millennium Club, which will be later called R.C. San Jose del Monte Central. With 26 charter members, C.P. Peg Mahuso steered the club towards a new millennium. In its second year, House President Joe Babas took the reins and soared like an eagle. In ROI 2002 and 3, the club reached its highest peak as it was awarded as the most outstanding club in the district with 17 plaques of appreciation including an RI presidential dissertation. A three-page centennial project, Adapa Tribal Community started during her term by sowing the seed of health promotion. Another district award was received by the club as one among the top 10 impact projects of the district. PP Boy Jaime continued the centennial project by lending a hand in functional literacy. Rotary year 2004-2005 was a time to celebrate Rotary in the completion of the centennial project. PP Jun Kanda highlighted the celebration by providing the maggots with livelihood skills training. As Rotary entered its next centennial year of service, Past President Vanny Capriccio motivated the club by participating to district-wide projects ranging from training seminars, 100% attendance to Boracay's media review, and culminated in a district caravan from Bulacan to Tugigarao, Cagayan. Rotary year 2006-2007, Past President Bong Baba started the Rotary year with a big bang by donating a wheelchair by way of matching grant and ended the year with another matching grant a drinking fountains to be installed at two public schools in Francisco Homes. A new beginning. A new chapter unfolds. A Rotarian outside of Francisco Homes became the club president. He transformed the club into a family-oriented organization by involving the Rotarian spouses, introduced balance project and fellowship programming, and gave the club a new home to your Rotary Lounge. A new generation begins. The new generation goes on. Young and restless, R.C. San Jose del Monte Central picks a young, dynamic, and promising leader, a 29-year-old city councillor, Nolly Concepcion, to lead a club in its ninth year. Still basking under the highly charged leadership of an equally young and aggressive IPP, the club's momentum has to be carried on. In just barely two months into office, two sisterhood agreements have been forged, a pledge of commitment signed with local government units, and an ambitious dream to make all non-Paul Horris members to become 100% PHF sustaining members. Nolly is a young dreamer, and the club dreams with him. Soon, all those dreams will become real.